Hello, this is Bern, and in today's video, I'm sharing five feminine qualities that can viscerally get a guy to feel you, desire you, pursue you, and ultimately commit to you, but I'm gonna do something different. Rather than simply listing them, I'm going to share the perspective of a man as to why each one of them feels so activating inside of us so that you have a stronger commitment and an easier time putting them to practice in your own life. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com. If this is your first time here and you'd like to learn how you can attract your ideal life partner without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or silly techniques, make sure you hit the subscribe button right now so you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. Now, the first feminine virtue that can really get a guy to feel you as a breath of fresh air, as a punch to his heart, as an activating mechanism that gets him to stop thinking about other things and start focusing his energy and his presence to you is passion, your passion. And what does passion mean? Passion means your connection to the things in your life that make you feel intensity irrespective of men, irrespective of people around you. What are the things in your life that make you uniquely you, that make you shine, that make you excited, that make you feel happy? And here's what it feels like, okay? Imagine that as a man, you're walking down a black and white alley. So imagine if you see a black and white movie, that's what you feel like sometimes as you're walking through life. Things feel heavy, burdensome. You feel the weight of the world on your shoulders. You know that you don't have necessarily permission to feel certain things and you have to step into an as a man, as people say, just take it and do things. So when you connect to that feeling of passion, it is as if you go from a concrete jungle that's black and white to experiencing the fragrance, the aliveness, and the color of a cherry blossom tree. So in the middle of that context, the passion of a woman allows him to feel the senses of something so beautiful and fragrant and alive and it just disrupts your mundanity. Your, your feeling of, ah, oh, the world sucks can instantly change. Your feeling of aliveness can change with a connection to a woman who's connected to her passion. That's why it's so important. So the things you can do to activate this are irrespective of anything you're doing, any strategy you're following as you connect with men online and offline is a stronger commitment to anything and everything that makes you feel alive. Now, before I share the next four qualities, I'd like to invite you, if you want to take the concepts of this video to the next level and not just intellectually understand them, but have the emotional capacity and discipline to activating them in your own experience, then hit the first link on the description of this video. You're going to find a page that looks like this. If you enter your name and email, you'll immediately be taken to a free masterclass where I'm sharing how you can take action and activate the principle that I'm sharing, not just in this video, but any of my other videos as well. The second feminine virtue that can activate a guy's visceral connection to you and where he won't be able to stop thinking about you is sensuality. Your commitment to connecting to the world through your senses, the sense of touch. And I'm not necessarily talking about touching him, is how you touch things in your life and how connected you are to that is what you can express. Your connection to a sense of smell, your connection to a sense of listening, things that make you feel inspired and alive. The more connected you are to your senses, to your body, to the world around you, the more you can help a guy feel connected to the present. The way you can understand what it feels like as a man is imagine you're driving a not so cool looking minivan in the middle of a very straight and boring road the kind that goes through fast food restaurants and 18 wheelers, it's just not a fun experience. And on top of that, you turn on the automatic pilot. Connecting to a woman who is connected to her senses and capable of exuding that energy that comes from connecting to senses is you go from that boring scenario to driving a sports car in the middle of the open road in Italy on a road that is full of curves and trees and nature. What is the difference? It makes you instantly become present and connect to what is real right now. Again, you go from a world of boredom to a feeling of ultimate connection to the present. When women ask me, why are guys putting them in the friend zone? Aside from choosing the wrong man, many times the disconnection from the senses is the thing that's making the guy connect mind to mind instead of mind to heart. 
the moment you feel more expressive because you have that connection to the outside world, then you allow him to ground himself in one moment from thinking about different things to feeling you, to becoming present for you. The third feminine virtue is empathy, as it relates to your capacity to feel and hold space for him. Now, for all the grief that men get about not feeling enough, being too much in their mind, being in your mind is a masculine quality. It doesn't mean that you have to be a man to be in your mind. I connect with many women who are mostly in their mind, not connected to their hearts, but it is a masculine thing. The abstractness of being here versus the ever feeling in here, in your heart, that's the ultimate feminine is ultimate feeling, ultimate masculine is ultimate withdrawal from feeling and just abstractly <laughs> witnessing what's taking place without judgment. How it, what it feels like as a man to connect to a woman who's empathetic is if you've ever been to New York or in a large city and you know how a lot, if, especially if you're just on regular mode, not super connected to your emotions, you're going about your day, most people couldn't care less about you. Most people won't look into your eyes and smile. They're doing their thing, you're doing your thing. So at some level, it's the feeling of feeling invisible, right? So imagine that you are walking down the streets of a city, feeling invisible, and all of a sudden, from feeling invisible, somebody holds your hands, looks into your eyes, and asks you how you're doing, and actually cares to hear the answer, and starts feeling what you're feeling. Being a man is so much being in your mind. It's so much feeling like you have to be better, like you have to improve, like you're never enough. I know that women feel this way, but you're not necessarily aware that most men feel this way constantly and overwhelmingly beyond a feeling of not being enough, there's a feeling of shame. There's a feeling of shame for so many different things and most men don't talk about it, so they're just hiding it all within. But you connecting to him and you being pathetic, you holding space for him, allows him to feel seen, allows him to feel accepted, allows him to feel less shameful about his experience. And that's one of those things that's unquantifiable in numbers, but creates such a strong sense of connection to you that if you start doing this more with the right men, they won't know what hit them. They just won't be able to stop thinking about you because no one is doing that for them right now. Fourth quality is, you guessed it, vulnerability. But I'm not sure why and what that feels like inside. Most guys are told from a very early age that they need to do more, they need to perform more, they need to be stronger, they need to push up their emotions. So when you become vulnerable with the right guy, you do two things. One, you let him drop down his guard because he's so guarded. He has to be strong. He has to be intelligent. He has to be financially responsible. All the things that he has, all the weights of the world, he can relax a little bit more. When you're vulnerable, he understands that you're human. So he has permission to be more human too. The second thing that it does, which is the most powerful for you, if you really think about it, is vulnerability is the one thing that's going to activate his feeling of being needed and stepping in to serve. If there is no vulnerability, it is highly unlikely, if not impossible, for the guy to step up and say, I'm going to be your guy. I'm going to do what it takes. I want to serve you because there's no need for him to serve you. You have everything. You're the perfect person who doesn't necessarily need anyone. So he doesn't necessarily feel he has something to add to your life. And that's why you see sometimes a guy that connects with you and he doesn't feel it. And then three months later, you find him committing to somebody else that is maybe not as intelligent as you are, maybe not as accomplished, but who has that space of vulnerability where he feels there's space to add and to serve. The last one is expressiveness. Because so many women are waiting to for the right moment to let the guy know the needs that she has or her true feelings so she's starting to push things down but being unexpressive in front of a guy means that he doesn't know how to win it is similar to driving a car in the middle of a place that you are not familiar with without a gps so no gps you're not expressive he doesn't know if he's lost he doesn't know if he's going in the right direction all of a sudden you turn on the gps by being expressive Expressiveness creates clarity. When there's clarity, he now knows if he needs to go to the left or the right, if he needs to be more connected to you, less connected to you. If you're seeking for more time with him, less time with him. More time before sex, less time before sex. He doesn't understand what's needed until you're expressive and clear. It gives him permission to take more action and it gives him permission to fail. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do just one thing. Hit the first link in the description of this video 
and you can start watching my free masterclass that will share how you can activate these principles not just in your head but in your heart as well. If you like this video, click like or thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and last but not least, if you want my hand holding and help and accountability to not do this alone and to get to the relationship you want in a fraction of the time, hit the second link in the description to see if we can connect and work together to help you experience this new result. Thank you so much for connecting with me. As always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.